what is up guys it is currently 709 in the morning um, I'm up and in my car because I'm gonna meet up with my friends right now my whole little Z squad and we're gonna go to the car meet just in the nearby area it's a uh, cars and Paul's four so yeah it should be a pretty cool meet nice and chill um, one of our friends is gonna be like taking pictures for everyone there so yeah get some good shots in there and uh, I went to a meet yesterday too it was over there um, at a mall near I uh, just right off the freeway it was pretty cool I had some friends that went some super fast friends it was mostly like a bunch of V8s but it was still pretty cool like me and my other friend with the Z went too we were the only VQs there or V6s I think too but yeah it was pretty cool pretty fun had some food and stuff so yeah so I'm gonna go meet up with my friends right now, and then we're all gonna mob over to the uh, to the meet right now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm almost there to the location where I'm gonna meet my friends at, and now I think about it, I probably should have brought my dog. That would have been pretty cool. At least I think it would. Too late now. I'm already not home. So yeah, we'll see how this does. Alex. Fuck! All right, hold on. Ready? Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, ready. Go. Fucking cool guy over here. <laughs> Alright, so now we move on to the footage when we're on the freeway, me and my buddies. Um, we're going, I'm probably going to skip this part in a couple seconds because we're just literally driving on the freeway doing pulls here and there so yeah there's my friend in the 370 my other friend on the 5.0 here comes the other dude in the 5.0 on my left right there so yeah and now I'm gonna skip on over so first you're gonna see the inside shot you see the M5 on my left right here I'm coming up and this is where things start to go wrong right about She's done right there. Yep, and I'm just thinking to myself like, oh, what the heck, like what happened? I see, it. like in the video, you can't see anything at all. There was a bunch of smoke in my cabin. Like when I pulled over, like about right here, started getting more smoke. Bunch of smoke coming out from my rear. And I'm just like, what the heck? So, I mean, there's there's a, you probably be able to see it a little better, some smoke on the outside view that the M5 took. And let me just show you guys that right now, so. Here's the footage from the M5 right here. So I'm coming up right here, I'm coming. So pay attention to my rear. There's this one. And something flew out. Yep. So once again, the video does like no justice. There's way more smoke than that. So we all pull over. We're like uh, trying to diagnose my car. Can't really figure it out because there's just like too many things going on. Car won't crank, leaking coolant. There's not really much oil for some obvious reason and so I just get to home so what had happened was pretty much the week before this day the meet which is exactly almost about a week and a couple days ago I checked my oil the week before the day of the meet so it had like about halfway and the day of the meet, I didn't check my oil, which was pretty dumb of me. So I can, I'll take fault for that, obviously. And I didn't expect to go do some pulls on the freeway with my boys at all. So the meet's over. What's, I mean, yeah, it's over. We started leaving and they're like, oh, you like, let's go, let's roll out on the freeway. I'm like, all right, whatever, I'm done. And I didn't think about my oil because I was just like super like happy, excited, I guess that, I don't know, just being around all those cool cars was really cool. So we go, we go, we're going. We went on the freeway for like about, uh, I wanna say like 10 minutes. And then I'm going, I do a pull. And then out of nowhere, like I feel like my front brakes just locked. And I don't think it was my front brakes. I think it was just because since my motor blew, I don't know, it just stopped cranking. So it probably locked my back wheels and that caused my car to think it was slipping. So then it locked my front brakes a little bit. And then I turned my car off. You could see that in the footage if you go back. I turned, uh, I didn't actually, no, sorry. I didn't turn my car off. I put it in neutral so it could just coast. And then after I put it in neutral, it turned off and I couldn't start it again. 
So then I was like, damn. So then pretty much we we saw a bunch of smoke coming out the back. My exhaust looked like it had a fog machine in it. The inside of my cabin looked like a movie. There was a bunch of smoke in it. Um, we checked the radiator. We checked hoses. We looked down. We see cooling all over the ground. Don't see any oil because there's no more oil left to burn. So that's why there's no more oil. And that's also why the smoke was super white. And again, you can't tell in the video at all. But um, yeah, it turns out I burned all my oil. Um, and you know, when a motor doesn't have oil, what is it gonna do? It's gonna you're gonna blow your motor. So I mean, yeah, I learned my lesson. Check the oil more often and. <laughs> don't do pulls without checking your oil make sure your car's running great but um yeah i know i was burning through that oil fast because uh my motor was getting hot the car was getting hot it was getting super hot because i'm doing pulls on the freeway and uh i don't know if you guys know but my tomei exhaust is like it's titanium like this crap it color shifts with heat so the day i took it to that little like mountain run up to julian with my boys um when i got back when i first put the exhaust on it was silver to the burnt tip and then when I got back from that Julian trip, it was gold to burnt tip. And now it's actually purple gold to burnt tip. And I think it looks pretty cool. I'll show you guys right now. But yeah, that took it like an idea of how hot it was getting. So, I mean, things happen. It's not like I'm super bummed. I was really bummed that day. But got it towed home, checked it, lifted it. Big holes. Holes. One big hole under my motor. So I already secured the motor that I, I i was looking at motors the day of like i already started looking i was thinking about doing a swap maybe like i looked at an ls i looked at a 2j um i looked at a freaking rb26 the etc i mean they all sound super cool i checked the ls conversion kits pricey as hell 2jz pricey as hell rb26 don't even want to think about that so i just said you know what i'm just gonna buy another uh 350z motor the vq motor slap it in there and then just rebuild it over time change the rods the pistons piston rings the bearings all that crap and uh yeah probably get it ready for some boost way down the road but for now i'm gonna put the motor in worry about getting the car running again and then probably rebuild it within some time so yeah i'll show you guys footage of the uh, hole under my motor right now and then um i'll show you guys what my exhaust looks like right now i think it looks pretty cool i don't know what you guys think so First coming up is the hole right here. you guys can see it but purple all right here just a little bit of gold and then the brand tip blue oh yeah and yeah that's my bumper yep but yeah it's purple now should be back oh yeah you guys have it I mean things happen uh things always happen for a reason and i guess it just gives me a reason to make the car better another motor this motor's gonna have low miles on it too compared to the motor i have in it right now um i think my car has believe it or not 117,000 miles yeah and the one i'm getting is well, it has 50,000 miles so that's a that's a plus and then i'm buying an oil cooler for that mm, as soon as i get it i'm gonna change the spark plugs oil filter and then I'm going to what was I gonna do I forgot so yeah we actually have some pretty good things coming for the Z as soon as I put the motor in so just stay tuned for that um, the car won't be down any much longer I'll try to get it up as run up and running as soon as possible so that's what happened to my car guys I mean yeah it's whatever's but I can't wait to see how it's running after I build it back up so hope you guys enjoyed 
smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and stay tuned for the installation of that motor, if you guys are interested. All right, later. Yeah, hey.